Hi, I'm going to run through how I write a piece of music from beginning to end. So over the course of maybe three or four videos, I'm going to show you how uh, I take an initial idea and start to develop that and maybe add a melody and, you know, come up with a completed piece of music from scratch. The first thing is just the initial idea, and that can come from anywhere. It can come from listening to a piece of music. It can come from just putting your hands on the guitar and trying things out. So I'm going to kind of go through the process with the song as I'm writing it. Um, and I've had the initial idea. The initial idea was based on the tuning of a ukulele because my daughter, my seven-year-old, was um, playing her toy ukulele and she wanted to know how it should sound. So I said, well, the, the strings are G, C, E, A. This is the sound I played to her. So I played her a G and a C and an E and an A. Okay, so that's the sound of the ukulele, an octave higher. Um, and I just kept playing that to her. And then I just kind of kept that going. And I kind of liked it, but I didn't like that to get the G and the A, I'm having to use the same string. Cuts off the G. So uh, I did what you should do when that's happening, which is to find somewhere else on the guitar to play it. So I, I found, um, got the open G still, but I found my C up here. And then the E and the A can be on the seventh fret of the A and the D. So that allows me to play all four notes just bringing without any stops or blocking strings. So that was my initial idea, literally the tuning, the open tuning of a ukulele. And as I was playing it, it just felt like it needed to descend. So I just took that C down to a B and repeated. And that often happens is once you start playing an initial idea, either your hands or your head, I guess your ears, will tell you where to go next. You know, you don't need to sit down and plan it out using theory. Um, you don't need to look at the circle of fifths. You just find something that works. So yeah, I just wanted to descend. And after the second time of doing that, I just wanted to descend again on the E string, everything else staying the same. And now I'm going down to a G. So I've got this kind of awkward shape on here. Okay, so I've descended from a C on the E string, down to the B, down to the A, down to the G. Obvious next step is, I guess, to go to the F, but it just felt like it needed to lift and not just keep going lower. So I kept the F chord, but I did an inversion. So the lowest note in that chord is actually a C. So yeah, a very simple idea. Loads of things do it, don't they? You know, stairway to heaven. That descending bass line, feeling good, does it? Loads of songs do that whole descending bass line, so there's nothing very special about that. But I do quite like that when it's got down to the G, I am theoretically descending to F, but you hear a kind of jump up in pitch. Have a listen. And now the F, and then resolving to the C chord. And then it just makes sense to do all that again. So that's my initial idea with the kind of 
added descending bass line and that little lift into the F and the C chord at the end. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna go away and record that. And I know what the next step is already. The next step is to have that recording and either listen to it or more likely just to have it in my head as I'm walking around outside, you know, taking the dog for a walk and just letting a tune evolve in my head. And I'm not even gonna use a guitar to write the tune. I'm gonna just get something in my head first and then I'll play it over these chords once it's recorded and that will be in my next video. So that was my first step and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get a second video done when I've got that melody sorted and you can hear how I get onto step two of writing a melody for the guitar. Thanks for watching.